everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome so today's video is going to be a quick unboxing and a little review on a skincare product that i've recently discovered this year i promised myself that i won't be buying makeup anymore and i will focus on skincare and uh, I come across this product when I was visiting my cousin. She absolutely loves clay masks. So I've seen her wear it so many times that I really got curious as to what it is, where it's from, and what are the good benefits that it leaves on the skin. So one day she made me try it myself and wow, I was blown away by how beautiful the packaging was and how easy it was to apply. Plus, I love how my skin felt right after. So without further ado, let's reveal that product. Okay, so this product that I've been mentioning for the past minute or two is from Raw PH. I love the name very raw very very true to their brand and uh let me just say i love the packaging it's an eco-friendly company uh it's local from iloilo city and i just love the packaging so much it says slay all day and uh, what i love about this product is not only is it super duper cute but the ingredients are all natural and locally sourced so you can guarantee that there are no harmful chemicals to the skin and this is just all natural goodness. I got this a few days ago but I decided to wait until the weekend to actually open it. So when you do, there's this little saying in here, babe, this one's for you. I love that their website is really carefully thought of and their packaging is just super duper sweet. You can tell that the owner or the seller is definitely, definitely a key guy just like me. <laughs> and being on the eco-friendly side of things, they're using um, old invoices. They shred it and they, they use it as a buffer so that your clay mask won't get harmed. Upon shipping so this is what it looks like from the inside here are the little masks I first purchased the masks because it's what got me intrigued about this brand in the first place and of course I love lip balms so couldn't help myself but try the lip balms also it is very very affordable this one retails for 149 pesos sorry it's not focusing okay so this is the mint flavored vegan karanuba lip balm i also got the flavor watermelon which is so cute because it smells like fresh watermelons i, I sniffed this prior to filming this video oh look it's the sweetest watermelon lip balm so i got the package of four because each clay mask retails for around 325 pesos uh, but if you buy four of their uh, flavors you get to try all four flavors and at the same time you get a discount so here are the flavors i got this is so cute this is pot of pink uh, i also got myself the black tea it's charcoal uh, my cousin highly recommended this one it's Moroccan mint look, look at the packaging it's just so pretty last one is actually my favorite since this is the one that I've tried so this is the French blueberry and I love that they put the little tapes as label and seal at the same time okay so now it is time to try these on i'm going to remove my makeup i will be checking in with you guys once the mask is on i'm probably gonna try hmm, with so many flavors that looks as good as it feels 
and smells. Oh, I haven't smelled it. it. Smells like fresh blueberries. I'm. Sure, I hope that they would make sense. Also, but they have a lot of other products. Uh, they have body oils. They have shampoos and lotions and conditioners. So please do check out raw ph.com if you want to check out their other products but i do highly recommend the clay mask and the scrubs yes they do have scrubs so let's sniff each one. Oh my goodness the pink smells very sophisticated mm. and i love that the texture of this doesn't disappoint this is exactly the kind of texture you would want as expected of a clay mask okay let's sniff out moroccan mint oh moroccan mint is like spa yeah i definitely thought of a spa because of the heavenly relaxing sort of minty refreshing aroma of this one Plus, my cousin said that once you've applied this, it actually turns red on the face, so... Hmm, I don't know. With so many flavors to choose from, I don't know which one to try first. Okay, last one is the black tea. Oh... This one really smells like tea. So... I feel like this one is really good for purifying and detoxifying your face. So later, I will check in with you with the mask and the lip balm on and give you guys my quick thoughts about it. Hello, everybody from A Bare Faced Me. I've removed my makeup completely, my lipstick, brows, everything's gone. Uh, I also washed my face and we are ready to mask. So, I still haven't decided on which mask flavor <laughs> I'm gonna try. So, I'm just gonna randomly pick from the box. I feel like that seems fair. And we'll just try it on, on cam. And I'm gonna uh, put on the watermelon balm because I am so intrigued on how it applies. And I wonder if the scent is really gonna stay put. So, let's do this. All right, so this is the box. Uh, there's four flavors in total. Those two are going to my cousin, because that's hers. Uh, yeah, okay, so how are we gonna do this? Meeny, mm, meeny, miny, mo. I wanna try one from the four. That was lame, but it looks like Moroccan Mint is the winner. Okay, so from the two versions of the count that I tried, Moroccan Mint prevailed. I'm first gonna put my hair on a scrunchie so it doesn't get in the way of our masking situation. And I'm first gonna try the watermelon lip balm and see how smooth this goes. I love the packaging. It's super handy. Ooh. I, I don't know if this got melted through shipping, but right now, the way that it glides on my finger is super smooth. This is my weakest finger, so there's definitely not a lot of uh, force there. Ooh. It's quite oily and it's very soft. I, I already made a dent, a small dent into the balm. Okay. So we're just gonna quickly apply it. Huh. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the dynamite candy for some reason. 
because of the watermelon flavor. I want to eat it. <laughs> That's the downside of all natural ingredients. You kind of want to eat it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very oily, but so far, I like it. Okay. This is the refreshing one. The one that reminds me of spa. Okay. Uh, just, ooh. It really is clay. Now that is a product that says exactly what it claims to do. Let's see if it works wonders on my face. Okay, so I've been told that this mask dries quickly. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly run that down. It has a cooling effect. The moment I place it on my face, it has a cooling effect. Oh wow, I like this. Put some more on the nose area because this is where a lot of the annoying black and white heads stick. Plus, I do commute every day, so today is definitely a mask day. Oh my, this is so refreshing. I couldn't think of a better definition than spa because it's very cooling. Mmm. I mean, makes sense because it's named Moroccan Mint, so there's really that minty. Effect. Okay, so remember when I told you that this dries quickly? It's already dried. And if you try to to move around it, it's it's either gonna ruin it and like erase it. So I'm just adding a few more patch by patch because I don't wanna ruin what you've already got here. I was gonna quickly add. Okie dokes. Oh wow. I look like an alien, but I really don't care. I feel like this mask is gonna do wonders on my face. I just know it. All right, so I will again be checking in with y'all after 10 minutes or more. And uh, I will give you my final thoughts, but so far, so good. Okay. So we're just gonna quickly run a timer. It says 10 minutes. And I will check the video all later. Hello, guys. My face is red. So it is now 3.47. I've extended for seven minutes already. I had this since 3.30 p.m. It's now 17 minutes past. 3.30. Anyway, I will be rinsing my face because this is long overdue and I will get back to you with the final thoughts on the mask and the balm. Final thoughts on the lip balm. It's, hmm, I like it, first of all. I like the scent. I love the packaging because it's, it's small enough to fit in your makeup bag and you can probably take it anywhere. Uh, thoughts on the formula. It's a little mushy like it's not as firm or uh, as Solid like most of the lip balms or petroleum jellies out there It's a little greasy also when I applied it. So I feel like my my lips is a bit oily But I like it it uh, Actually removed it when I washed my face, but it leaves my my lips soft as for the longevity of the balm, I feel like it's gonna last me two hours max before I would need to reapply. But on the bright side, because of the formula that it has, it's the kind of lip balm that you can wear right before you put on your lip liner or your lipstick. And it glides beautifully on the lips. 
I just really don't like the greasy so I'm not sure I'm, I'm gonna have to test it out again and again for me to actually make the most of the product as for the mask it left my skin very very plumped I like it uh, it still feels refreshing actually I could I can still feel the the mint uh, after effect so I cannot wait to try the rest of the products I'm sure they're gonna do the same and they're all gonna do beautifully on my skin so a plus plus on the mask okay I'm gonna have to put on my toner and moisturizer now okay so that is it for this quick little unboxing and review thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye